how you love me electric like you do love it how you love me electric always you love it how you love me electric electric i love it how you love me a lot love me a lot love me electric Good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to what I call morning panic attacks. I don't know. So I was about to record, but I am recording right now, but I'm having panic attack. I feel like it's the hair. It's panic. Because <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. So I felt pressured and I don't like being pressured at all. So probably that's me. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. By this time, hopefully, our Lord Ganesh collection is out together with our Lucky Elephants, okay? So our Lucky Elephants is going to come out soon, okay? And we have a new collection for Lord Ganesh. It's going to be out probably um, today or tomorrow, so do check it out. And we have different um, kinds. Now, um, I do have Lord Ganesh um, around my place, okay? It, it has removed a lot of obstacles in my life. It has removed a lot of fears in my life. I mean, I do look fierce. I know that. That's very Durga. Okay, Lord Durga for that one. Okay. But Lord Ganesh, you know, for me. Okay. So for me, it's not about religion. Okay, so if you're going to ask me about religion, I follow a lot of things. Okay. As long as it makes me happy, I like that. You know, religion, spirituality. If it makes me happy, why not? Okay. That's what it is. If, if it makes me glow, I mean, hello, you're welcome. Okay. So let's begin here. Okay, let's see what uh, I'm gonna do. Oracle card first. Yeah, let's do oracle card. This is your divine feminine reading. I do look like divine diva. <laughs> okay, <laughs> but it, it ain't no divine here. Okay, so there's no genitalia over here. I don't like to look at your oyster in the morning or your sausage. Let's keep it into your pantalones. Okay. I just want to see who are you in this connection. How has it been? Yesterday was the first card was Broken Heart with the other Oracle. You were going through the feels. So, now let's see what you have for me this time. Okay. Especially if you are going to something about with Rahu. I'm trying to bring in um, Lord Ganesh in the space that you're always at. Okay. It can be a picture of Lord Ganesh or an elephant uh, for that matter. Okay. So if you do not associate with Lord Ganesh, an elephant. Okay. So it does remove those fears, stress, and anxiety. I think I need a bigger one. Like, I think I need a real elephant at the back <laughs> for my panic attack right now. I gotta be, ah! No, that's not an elephant cell. But let's begin here. Let's see. Manifesting miracles. I believe, okay, those are my little angels behind me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's... Uh, that's our staff, okay? So look at them, you know, bringing in some stuff. I know you guys can see them, okay? This is my amazing team, okay? They work hard, okay? Your dreams is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance, okay? So there's yin yang, there's a star, there's the infinity symbol, there's the life symbol, ankh, and there's the heart symbol, okay? I love this. Especially that it is acknowledging your prayers because you're saying your dreams is soon to become reality. Okay. And it's always just about listening to your heart, following your heart. And, you know, because it's going to guide you to, I feel like whatever that you, um, you're feeling that you deserve. Okay. Because it's miracle. Let's just say you're manifesting healing. Okay. You're manifesting, um, what, more than healing? Abundance, prosperity, peace, you know, serenity. Um, or just uh, plain, you know, whatever you're ma like manifesting, just being, you know, like I just want to be, um, you know, fulfillment of your own existence. You know, you just want to be as real as possible. You know, that can be something that you're manifesting. That's good. Okay. So that's what we're focusing right now. 
Manifesting a miracle. Okay, now let's see what the other oracle is about. Okay. Let me see here. We also have salt lamps. Okay, nobody asked, I know, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Elephant salt lamps. Yeah, okay. The lucky fountain is still there. Okay, it's pre order now because, um, you know, we get out of stock right away with those. Okay, so do check it out. Um, let me see what's going on. Storm warning, cornucopia, and indecision. Okay, so you're making a decision about managing your finances. That's one. Because um, it might lead you to something, you know, big change. Big change is coming with regards to your luck. Um, big change is coming towards you in matters of... Let me see what's this. Um, it feels like you're looking at different choices on where to settle, what to do, because this is a storm warning. Yeah. So you might, you know, the storm is all about, like, unf like, well, it's predictable, but it does bring, you know, kind of like a destruction. After a destruction, here comes abundance, so light at the end of the tunnel. But with the indecision over here, you have to commit to this first. Let me see. You have fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, door to spirit, and Archangel Gabriel. Um, they're saying here that you are protected during this time of change. Okay, that's good. Um, there is... Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, it feels like there will be people who are going against the choices that you're going to make. And uh, this is what they're warning you. Okay? So be careful of the haters. Be careful of those people who wish ill intent. Hostilities. Now, this can be unforeseen, uh, of course, unforeseen arguments that is coming around, okay? Now, with the door to spirit and blossoming to abundance, it's just saying here that it is time for you to embrace, all right, all the good things in life. That's good. Acknowledgement of your dreams and miracles also is that. So it's definitely manifesting for you, Hilda. Um, we got second chakra over here. Um, the way that I see this is... Uh, maybe a posture, maybe something in regards to your posture that needs to be changed. Your speech um, is evolving. The way that you communicate to people also is changing. Now, a lot of people are envious of your success and where you're going. Yeah, you got friends that doesn't mean well and you got friends who means well. So be careful on who you are, your networks are. Um, as soon as you rise up to your power, which is here, there is success. Um, there will be a... Uh, you know, a lot of attracting of the evil eye, okay? We also have evil eye collection. I need to fix it, okay? We have Newton. Because <laughs> here, you're attracting envious people. Mm -hmm. For me, I attract flies. I do not take a shower. <laughs> so, early in the morning, because it's hot here, and then there's flies everywhere. So, maybe that stressed me out. Oh, I, I like when I'm stressed because I'm calm, you know? I don't go, wah. See, so, yeah, I'm very calm. That's me stress, okay? opposite right so man holding a heart um yes so there will be someone who's going to communicate towards you with regards to love but you're climbing the ladder of success okay so that's good okay i don't feel like using big tarot it stresses me <laughs> so i'm not gonna use this <laughs> i'm gonna use my pocket one teeny tiny okay mm. Yeah, I think it stressed me. Okay. I really stress right away. Yes, right? Okay. So, Lord Ganesh basically removes the stress. Okay. It might remove me because I'm a ball of stress at work. <laughs> what if it's like that, right? Because, I mean, at work, I bring the stress because I bring a lot of things, ideas. And then they pray to Lord Ganesh. They might remove me. <laughs> it's funny. No. Here we go. Oh, King of Cups. All right. Okay. You guys like it when I'm calm. I'm like a sedated uh, person right now. Oh, I'm trying to manage this. Ooh, boo, boo, boo. King of Cups. All right. So what does it mean having a King of Cups here? Um, you're trying to commit. You have the judgment. You have spirits over there. So you're receiving Okay. Um, a lot of message from your spirit guides about um, some sort of awakening. Right? So what is an awakening? I feel like it's more of like rea uh, realization, okay, about who you love and who you care. Now, of course, the judgment is a bringer of the past if they are still alive, okay, <laughs> your past life, okay. A past life person will resurface. 
Did you guys um, go to my newsletter? I sent out a Mercury Retrograde um, newsletter yesterday. And then coming Sunday, I will release the monthly prediction for all Zodiacs um, for May. Horoscope. You go to my website at the lower right corner, sign up to the newsletter. Got it? Thank you. Okay. I don't know why. They said like to say it. <laughs> Judgment with the King of Cups. Um, uh, it feels like you're really about long-term loving connection and you're looking, you know, you're very optimistic about this. Um, and you really have done the work, Hilda. You've done the work, you know. Um, you've removed people who hasn't been for, you know, for your higher self. You've done your cleansing, your manifestation. You've got miracles over there. And it feels like the guides are telling you they heard you loud and clear. You probably manifested with a, with a loudspeaker like that. <laughs> okay, let's see. You got the hangman, so definitely enlightenment, right? So you also know who are the people betraying you because the hangman is a traitor, okay? Okay, so who's this traitor? Well, you remove them already from your life, okay? Man, this short is tight. <laughs> Looking at this, if you guys see it, oh my gosh, thickness is reality right now. Okay. <laughs> it's Bermuda, but it feels like you know, Bermuda get, get lost. This one has found my thickness. Okay. The hangman over here, um, it feels like you are thinking about things in life where, um, you know, what have you done for yourself and what have you done for others? Oh, wow. So we're going there today, Hilda. We're going to, we're going within. Okay. All right. So ask yourself then, you know, what have you done for yourself? Hmm. doesn't matter what age you are or, you know, who you help, you know, all these things. But it's just about looking into the mirror. Have you thanked yourself? No. Have you thanked others? No. Start thanking them. You got Ten of Pentacles. Acknowledgement of uh, finances is here. Uh, so what does it mean for the Hilda? You got paid yesterday. I know that. It's Friday. And then you paid your rent <laughs> to the house. Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> okay. Good. You have, another, you have a house for the next 30 days. Love it. Okay. <laughs> so with the Ten of Pentacles here, you did get abundant yesterday. Uh, so thank, you know, thank your guides, your ancestors, your creator for giving you such blessing. Yes. Uh, more than you think, like, uh, you know, like, people think, like, you owe people. No, you owe your ancestors and your creator. The people are just there receiving already their karma, whatever that we're going to get, okay? So, you know, uh, as much as you would like to think, like, you owe humans, you technically owe the universe more than the humans. The humans are just a pawn into this life of yours. You got me. So... Be thankful for your ancestors because the gifts are coming towards you. Be, be thankful for your creator because that's why you are abundant right now. Exactly. The humans' accessories, their pawns, okay? You appreciate them, yes. Be thankful for them. But, you know, you put, the, you know, there's different levels of being thankful and being, uh, uh, you know, and giving gratitude. You know, I'm always, you know, uh, of course, all gratitude to people who watch me. But of course, you know, the high, you know, there's this pyramid, okay? There's this pyramid. <laughs> no, you don't have to sign up in my pyramid, okay? <laughs> That's how I see it. Mm. Eight of Wands, love, Five of Swords. Really, an argument is coming towards you. Work is very busy, Hilda. You got new responsibilities. A job promotion is here. A pay raise is also coming towards you. But it might result into conflict. Um, with your schedule. So maybe your schedule is going to be very, very tight. You're going to be flying here and there, driving here and there because more responsibility. You have a lot of creative juices that is coming out of you. What is this creative juices coming? <laughs> Was it a good Friday night? <laughs> okay. You're inspired. You got that morning glow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I got morning glow. So <laughs> it was just me though last night. <laughs> Good. It means that serum is loving it, loving the skin. Love. Okay. Right now, I'm using for my serum, um, I'm using the vitamin C. Okay. I'm all about, you know, um, skincare right now. Vitamin C. So I've gone through different brands. So right now, I'm experimenting with uh, uh, Barbara Stern. Okay. So I'm going through a phase, different phase. I did osmosis. I did also Korean stuff. So I just like to keep changing. Okay. But I took a second mortgage for ba Barbara Stern's product. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, second mortgage for my products. Okay. It's so expensive. It makes me work harder. Eight of Pentacles. So um, it feels like with the Five of Swords, oh, that's how the reading here. We catch up and then I do the read. So it's casual. So if you're just a needy person, I want my soulmate. This is not the channel for you. Okay. I don't 
cater to those, right? Okay. Eight of Wands over here um, with the Five of Swords. Um, it feels like, you know, try to be careful with how you communicate to your partner with the Ten of Pentacles here and Eight of Pentacles because um, it might result into a breakup all of a sudden and then you gotta tell this person, I'm done with you, I compromised too much, I gave you everything and you never really listened to me. So why are we even together? Yeah? Okay, Three of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords, right. So there's definitely a lot of stress coming from your relationship because it's it's like the relationship is here and then the work is here. So the workload is increasing and now someone likes to cause some dra drama and then you're going to work. Oof, can't do that. For me, it's just like, I'll see you next year if you're gonna do this, okay? Because work is a responsibility. Relationship is a responsibility, but don't create drama because we have control of relationship work we don't have okay <laughs> you know it's a it's a deadline okay because i see here the relationship issue is uh, wait what is this the issue is about communication okay so this work the communication i don't understand why this person keeps you know yapping at you and then you know they always had something to say with what you do and then now you're just ignoring them and then now they're stressed about it and then why keep saying something that's not nice? I don't understand. Okay. Wheel of Fortune. So things are about to turn around if you have separated with a Five of Swords. That's a Wheel of Fortune. I like the Wheel of Fortune with a Ten of Pentacles, which only means that your cornucopia and your blossoming abundance is on its way. Okay? Mm. So normally this is the, what we call a windfall. Okay? But you're going to be very stressed about your partner because you guys have separated. You're manifesting a miracle because you probably want to buy a home with the ten of pentacles right you're stressed also because you guys are separated and then they want to be back and you do not know how to handle this person anymore wow this person is really something in your life huh okay because you feel that how come it's like i say something you do something else and it's like who's listening here you know like they don't understand like communication is such a big issue and Mercury is not even retrograde yet. It's just coming. You know, that's in the 22nd, right? The 22nd? I mean, 22nd or 23rd. But also, uh, there's Saturn retrograde. Okay, this is coming May. So, but I, I do see here with the Wheel of Fortune, um, if you are in the down with this connection, something is about to turn around. Um, but you are counting on this to turn around, though. You want this to work out. Mm -hmm. You're actually not giving up on them. You just hate them today. You love them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I know that kind of Hilda. Hate, hate, hate. I'm done with him. I never, never, I will never. And then one text is like, yeah, okay, we'll have dinner. Yeah, okay. In that restaurant, yes, yes. All right, all right, I see you there. Love you. You're crazy. <laughs> you were just hungry, I can tell. Okay, mm-hmm. Maybe you're just hungry. That's why you guys argue with the Five of Swords. You just wanted to do something that my way or the highway. It's like, yeah, I was just so tired. So I was, just like, I was tired and then they texted me and I wasn't feeling it. So there it is. I laid it out. I called him out. Listen, you don't even understand me. And then this person is like, what? <laughs> I asked, how are you doing? And then, no, I just, that, that was it for me. <laughs> Who knows? I can tell some people are just like that with their relationship because if the communication is an issue. There? Okay. So let me continue this reading as you expect things to turn around for the better as you guys are separated right now. So this is no contact, no communication, separated reading. Um, and you guys are working on your Ten of Pentacles. You guys are working on long-term goals. Living in together, having the family, the kids, buying a home together. And that's what stresses you out. You guys were supposed to go there. That's the direction of the relationship. And then, bam, chicka, wow, wow. You guys are separated right now. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Follow me on Instagram at Salbiadora. Um, I am there in IG story. And you can see, guys, we work on the weekends also. Thank you for appreciating and making our store number one. Like, in the universe. In five universe, in six galaxies now. We, got, we just got certified yesterday. I asked, Jackie, yeah. We got certified yesterday. Okay, so Jackie said yes. 
yeah, yesterday we got our certification from another galaxy. Um, so we are always creating something new, okay? Because we push consumerism here. We love it. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> because my product is amazing and I believe in it. And it adds value to your home, to your life. You couldn't ask for more, right? So make sure you check our amazing crate. Of course, this is empty. I can make it for you and it's for pre-order. Don't rush me. You know I have panic attacks if I'm being rushed, okay? <laughs> so, so that's that, okay? So make sure you check this out. Um, and then you can see there it says pre-order. Also the wonderful fountains, yes, okay? Lord Ganesh and together with the lucky elephants that's coming this weekend. Um, so um, the way that the elephant works, you can, uh, I'm not separating them. Because normally, you, should, you know, like in some stores you can just buy one. Has to come in pairs to bring luck. Yes, yes darling, okay? Because like what the Spice Girl says, right? To become one, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so, um, so that's that. What else? What else? What else? And try not to, uh, you know, to take my reading seriously. Okay, <laughs> Take it with a grain of salt. <laughs> you guys are always into your feels. But trust me, I feel you guys. I feel for everybody. Okay. And sending my love to all the people who watch this for me in India. I always pray. I've been praying for you guys there. I know it's been rough in India. Okay. So yeah, I've been going to Healing Buddha every night for the people in India. Okay, so what else? What else? Um, I the next next week is the launching of the charity next week. I believe it's next week, the saving of the uh, um, elephants in. Uh, um, but uh, you know we're gonna launch it uh, in Kenya. It's gonna be in Kenya where we save the the elephants. Okay, so that's next week. So make sure you sign up to our newsletter. Um, what else do you guys need information? This is the community board. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. And as always, the OGs are still here. So I'm going to give you guys more. <laughs> okay. That's how I work here. Let me get you more. Mm -hmm. okay, so if you're willing to listen to all my sales speech, darling, we good. We best friends right here. Okay. Thank you. Okay. You got my back. I got your hair. Okay. I'm the kind of best friend. When you're throwing up, okay, I will lift that hair and I will shave it while you're drunk so you stop doing that to yourself. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Queen of Cups! <laughs> Why am I laughing? Because look at that. The first card is the king. The second and uh, the last is the queen. So definitely the two of you are a mixed bag of nuts because you guys love each other. You guys are just trying to work out the difference right now. Okay. Sponsored by Adidas. One of my teammates She's wearing a red Adidas shirt. Okay. It's not for sale, guys. Okay. <laughs> I just saw her from behind. Okay. <laughs> so, um... Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune, King and Queen of Cups, um, it feels like, yes, this there is going to be a renewal between the two of you. And there is a lot of love between the two of you. So a chance for making this happen and making it real and going for it, it's 99% a miracle is going to manifest. I believe in miracles. I think there's a song like that. I wish I can sing here. Well, I do sing. <laughs> Okay, anyhow, as far as I've released already my panic attack with your reading, <laughs> I will continue this in extended as the two become one. Oh, wow, that is true. Two become one. I need someone. Ah, na, 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 na. Wanna make love to you, baby. Alrighty, enjoy your weekend, folks, and continue your manifestation because your guides, your ancestors, and your creator are listening. Bye, guys.